And so that leads me to point number five, uh, which I have right here somewhere. And that is that prenatal and early postnatal stages determine to a very large extent our biological and psychological makeup. That is, all kinds of medical conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, um, and many, many other uh, immune immune diseases are really um, the result of some very early stresses in life. And so, uh, and so also on the positive side, our ability to, to relate to other people, our ability to love and to be loved, all of these things are already determined in prenatal and early postnatal life. And so it follows that it is in these early pre- and postnatal stages uh, that we can provide a unique and best opportunity for the primary prevention of both medical and psychological disorders. So when people talk to you about primary prevention, um, trying to diagnose three and four-year-old children, or perhaps sometimes even a little bit earlier, perhaps in daycare, um, that is definitely significant, but it is not primary prevention. It is secondary or tertiary prevention at best. Primary prevention happens before birth. It happens at conception and sometimes even before conception. Um, we don't have time to go into that, but let me assure you that this is the case. And so number seven takes us to bonding. Um, and um, we scientists talk about a secure relationship uh, with one or two primary caregivers. And it is that relationship which, if it is positive, maximizes, maximizes the acquisition of emotional and intellectual capacities. On the other, on the other hand, if that relationship is wanting, uh, if there is insufficient presence of uh, primary caretakers, uh, then that emotional state will be um, not as secure as we would like it to be, and that may have some very important and negative consequences for the development of that child, that person, later on in life. Uh, Daniel Siegel, uh, another uh, of the foremost uh, psychiatrists in the United States, uh, has put it, I think, very, very beautifully when he said, it is the human connections which create the neural connections from which the mind emerges. And I think this is an incredibly important statement. And if there's nothing else that you remember about my little talk here today, please remember this. It is the human connections, the human relationships, which are so fundamental to our developing the proper neural circuits, which then will guarantee uh, a healthy human uh, personality. So I think that that is really, really important to remember. And uh, finally, um, in terms of the way we look at mothers and pregnancy nowadays has really changed our view of the role of the mother. In the past, the mother was essentially uh, viewed as an incubator or, or, or a passive receptacle uh, for a child's growth. But today we see her as an active participator. And so if I had my way, I would like uh, every uh, pregnant woman to wear a t-shirt which says baby under construction because that's really what mothers are doing all the time when they are pregnant. So um, if you would like to know more about um, any of these things that I have been speaking about, uh, there are several organizations uh, that are dedicated now to exploring these matters. Uh, one of them is, um, is APA, the Association for Pre- and Perinatal Psychology and Health, an organization that I founded uh, in 1983. Um, also, our sister organization, ISPPM in Europe, and a very important French organization, um, 
which is O-M-A-E-P, and um, it stands for Organisation Mondiale de Association pour l'Education Prenatale. And uh, this is a very special organization that has a consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. Um, so those are some resources uh, that you might be able to, to use. And in, uh, in conclusion, I would like to say that we have underestimated for the longest time the mental and emotional development of unborn children. And we certainly know with absolute certainty today that at least by the end of the second trimester, and I'm being very cautious here, at least by the end of the second trimester, if not before, the unborn child is a sensitive, feeling, aware, and remembering human being. So mothers and fathers-to-be, and everybody who is interested in personality development, please keep that in mind. Thank you. Bye-bye.